Hey guys, Sensei Scott here again with another video for you today. We're not going to do anything crazy. Um, we're just going to go through our lower body basics. So this is the Asian Roo system lower body basics, uh, you know, that you need in the foundation. So when we do these, we're going to be in our Seisan stance. So our Seisan stance, toes forward, both knees bent. Okay, one of the easy ways you can do it is turn the back knee and it should be about a fist length between your heel and your knee and come back up and just toes heel uh, forward, both knees bent. With this, it's so balanced, I can move in any direction, in and out of any stance that I need to. So uh, just stick with that Seisan stance as we do these kicks. We'll be going through a bunch of them and that's gonna be it. There's no warmer for a cool down included in this. So if you need to stretch, get a good five minutes in, jump jacks, high knees, make sure you open your hips up, stretch the quads, hamstrings, calves, and be ready for this. Hey, if you're ready now, you can get going. If you need to stretch, feel free to pause this video. So we're gonna start in our stays on stance, toes forward, both knees bent, and we're gonna start with our front kick. So when we do our front kick, there's four parts to any kick. The first part is the first chamber, the extension is the second, back into the chamber, and down. So every kick, okay, regardless of what part of the foot we're hitting with, is gonna have those four parts to it. Okay, so for the front kick, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see, we're extending with the ball of the foot. The ball of the foot here is what we want to be kicking with. There's a, uh, another front kick called a push kick. Um, that's where you're hitting with the whole foot and you're pushing through, it's a little different. These we're doing snap kicks. These are fast. Now I'm not wearing my full gi. I figure you're not gonna be wearing your full gi, you're gonna be at home. I'm gonna be in my home wear. I'm just in my office right now. So we want to make sure that we're snapping these out. 95% extension, never locking out the joints, just like our punch. We'll talk about it with Bonnie in a different video. Okay, so let's do our front kick, ready? One, up, out, back in, and down. Two, and down. Make sure you keep this plant leg bent, try not to raise up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, and you can hear that I'm breathing and exhaling every single time you wanna do the same. Okay, let's switch feet. Get your face on stance, toes forward, both knees bent, hands up. Chambering before and after every kick, front kick, right? One, and down. Two, set, take a look at your stance. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Nice, very good. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the 45 degree angle blade kick. So the 45 degree angle blade kick is hitting now with the knife edge of the foot. Okay, so we're looking at this part right here, the knife edge. I'm gonna start my face on stance, my hands are up. I'm gonna bring my foot in at my own knee level. You have to turn your hips a little bit, but you wanna stay level. Turn the hips, extend out. Turn the toes in so the for, uh, it's on a 45. So we're not only on a 45 going this way, the ankle is turned in on a 45 as well. So we can extend the blade edge, you level, back in, and down. Okay, so I can do this when I'm close to somebody, knee level, this kick isn't really gonna be that high. If we're gonna be going any higher, we're probably gonna be going into a side kick. So this is about snapping at the knee level, maybe a little higher depending on the height of the person. Let's try it out, ready? One. Good. Two, and breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice job. Nine, and 10. Good, switch feet. Do the other side. Once you get comfortable, you can go a little faster again. Never full extension, don't lock out the knee. Ready? One, two, three, and look where you kick. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, and back and down. Nice job. All right. Let's go into the cross over heel kick. 
So crossover heel kick, we want to be focusing and thinking about the ground, okay? I wouldn't really be doing this kick unless something's happening on the ground and I'm standing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the back leg up, so I always kick with the back leg, draw it up, drive down with the heel. So you want to point your toes towards your face so you can hit with the heel, bring it all the way back up and down. Okay? The reason we bring it back up is because if, you know, I don't have a partner here, but if I took somebody down and I'm doing this crossover heel kick, I want to bring that leg back up so it doesn't get grabbed and I can reset in a safer stance. So let's make sure we're bringing that chamber up because there's a chamber before and after every kick. Ready? One, up, down, up, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, still looking where you kick, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, switch. So this one, it's really easy to do. I even do it sometimes, okay? Um, make sure you're not rising up because we think we're gonna drop and boom, come down. You actually wanna keep this leg bent to stay grounded and controlled the whole way. So try and keep that bent. It's really easy to get a little sucked into this kick and wanna come up to drive down when I actually wanna keep this leg planted, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, driving with the heel, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, good job. Take the legs out if you need to. Okay, let's go into our side kick now. Okay, we're going to the side kick. So we get back in that Saison stance, toes forward, both knees bent, balanced and forward, backwards, side to side, and every angle in between. That's the greatest part about this stance. So now we're kicking to the side, we're going back to the blade edge. I turn my head, bring my chamber in by my knee again, hit onto the side, okay, up to the side, back and down, and we set. So in, side out, woo! back and down. Okay, you can see I didn't really bend that too much. I was focused more on talking there, but keep that bent so you don't fall over like I did. Okay, hands up, ready, and look where you kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good, switch. Say sun stance, toes forward, both knees bent. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good, very nice. All right, when you say we keep moving on here. Um, so that kick, very important. Also, that kick has a thrust style as well to it. When we work with pads, if I had a partner right here, okay, there's a slide up side kick as well. And there's also a side kick where we can cross behind and look, I torque the hips and Boom, straight in and down. So that's uh, another way we can do this one as well. But we'll do pad work in another video. So I just wanted to get that in your head a little bit because we're doing this from Saison stance, but you can do it from modified Saison as well. So let's go do a side straight kick, okay? Pretty self-explanatory, we're gonna kick straight to the side. But in order to do that, we have to transition. We have to get the hips in the right way. So when we start with our left foot forward, our face on stance, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna draw the right foot back, the kicking foot, I'm gonna sink back into a cat stance. So cat stance, okay, think of like a T, a little bit out though. I'm on the ball of the foot in my front, flat in the back, kick the back hip out, keep the back straight, okay? And you can keep open guard here for this, but 95% of my weight is in the back. 
okay? So I can pick this up and move in any direction at any time. Okay, so as we transition, the back foot always kicks. I come into my cat stance and front kick with the ball of the foot. And that's your side straight kick. Let's do it, ready? One, so you can see I'm changing to an open guard. You don't have to, just keep the hands closed. Two, three, four, I look and strike. And back and down, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, good. Okay, switch it up. Break them forward, toes forward, both knees bent, hands up. Tell you what, I'm regretting this hoodie right now, even though we're going slow, getting warm. Ready, shift, cat stance, front kick, back and down. So you can see, there's still the re-chamber, and as you step back, you might have to step off on an angle to make sure that you're in a good stance on stance. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice, good. All right, shake, shake if you need it. Now we're gonna start in Hadash stance. Okay, we're gonna do a lean to the side roundhouse kick. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step left, half circle step left. I'm gonna chamber on the left hip, and then the back foot is gonna kick low, okay, either with the top of the foot or the ball of the foot. I want you to think in both ways. But for this one, just for now, Let's kick with the ball of the foot. But maybe, depending on what kind of shoes you're wearing, depending on what the circumstances is, it might make a little more sense to hit with the top part of the foot, like a low roundhouse kick, versus extending the ball of the foot, like a low front kick. Both are correct, both are fine, I'm cool with either. You should know both, um, but for the purpose of this one, we're gonna hit with the ball of the foot. So we're gonna start in our Higadash stance, this is ready stance. Okay, we'll go through it together once before we start counting. So left foot half circle step. You're gonna twist the hips. So it's kind of like a back stance. If I was going back this way, a little bit of a back stance. Chamber, low roundhouse, and then back to Higadash stance. So our neutral stance, right? Hips, hip width, shoulder width apart, and hands are in front. This chamber can be like a trap. So I'm gonna contract and hit. Again, don't have a partner here today. I will on the next one, so you'll see that. Let's do it, ready? Kicking with the right foot, ready? One, half circle step left, chamber, right kick, and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and 10. Make sure you're chambering before and after, every single time, all right? So now we're gonna do the other way. So we start in off, right foot in and out, double chamber, left foot, ball the foot for this one, and back to Higadash, okay? Um, again, we'll talk about more in the movement with the person, different scenarios next time. Higadash, ready? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to hang it out. Good. All right, last one, knee kick. Knee kick, and then we'll do sparring techniques, modified Saison stand stuff, with roundhouse hook kicks, side kicks, all that in a different video. This is just our basics for right now. Okay, so now we're gonna do a knee kick. So I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can see a little bit. So I start my left foot forward, Saison stance. Okay, there's a couple ways you can do this with your hands. You can just leave them up or you can put them as a target. But what I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna show you on this side, okay? 
I don't wanna just bring my leg up into the knee, okay? If I were to pull, I have a desk over here, a small desk that's about my knee level, I should be able to go up and over that without getting caught and kneeing. So what I wanna do actually is, as I do my knee kick, I want this to go back. This is my chamber. This goes back so I don't get hooked on anything. Then I can drive in, keep it tucked close to your glute and hamstring as it goes back, and then you can put it back down. Okay, again, we don't wanna get caught on anything. You know, we're trying to think of this as realistic scenarios. So think of it like a bull who's getting ready to rush. Okay, you wanna kick the dirt back in, back and down, okay? So keep that hug close to your hamstring as you do this. And we'll be good to go. Tighten the core, breathe. Oh, and with the hands, you can give yourself a target if you want. Ready? One, two, three. And we want to be penetrating in, not just up. Okay? Four, five, right with the knee. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, good, switch sides. Okay, knee kick again, feel free, give yourself a target, just make sure you're kicking back, don't just bring it up. Okay, you can see the difference there. Incorrect, just bringing it up, correct. Look at that difference in that height, ready? One, two, three, four. If you wanna emulate grabbing somebody, you can do that too, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, very good, you guys. All right, that's enough for today. Those are your basics. We're gonna keep building this foundation. But just like when we learn how to speak, you know, you have to learn the letters first, then you can learn words, then you can learn sentences, then you can turn sentences into paragraphs, and you can turn paragraphs into great essays. You can turn great essays into books. So it all builds upon an advancement. So right now we're just working on our letters. Okay, we're just working on those basics, and then we'll keep building upon. So look for the videos, and I'll clearly show them which ones are advanced and which ones are not. So I thank you for being here. Again, welcome to the One Heart Way Studio, oneheartway.org. You know, we're a nonprofit. We love you guys. I really thank you for being here. And we'll end with a little bit of a bow. So heels together, toes open. Straight, means attention, hands to the sides. Great. Bow to respect. Respect for you being here. I thank you for being here. And thank yourself for being here because that's what's most important. You showed up today. You clicked the video. No one else did that. You did that. Don't forget that. And I'll see you in the advanced techniques. See you soon.